So I'm really enjoying this Big Me High Break. It's really great that I'm spending much more of my time just opening up the reading app rather than going ahead and checking all my socials and things. But you can also do lots of other things, for instance, check your news when you need to. But I've been really enjoying reading on this color ink panel. But one of the big downsides apart from it being the older e-ink panel technology, it's only got really the earpiece speaker, no bottom firing speakers. And I really do need better audio than that for my everyday carry, because one thing I do need my phone to do is to be my place for podcasts, for audio books, and for music as well. Like me, this is their first product, actually, Cozy Fit. And this is supposedly the most comfortable open-ear headphones. I believe it's supposedly the lightest headphones that you can buy right now. So let's get these up, see how they pair with the Big Me, and of course uh, then I can show you installing some apps and running the Bluetooth things and see how good these things are. It says there, uh, all day comfort, immersive audio, and that they are surprisingly private. It has an open ear design, so one thing about that is can everyone just hear what you're listening to? I remember reading somewhere that this supposedly is the world's lightest pair of headphones, but I can't see that in their marketing anywhere just now. That's the box, anything else in here? Charging cable and manual. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install what I listen to audiobooks on most of the time here on the Big Me. I'm gonna go ahead and install Audible, so I haven't put that on yet. But I'm also gonna install Shortform, which is an app which gives you book summaries and you can read them on screen, or of course they have audio files as well to go with each of their short form books. And I think that these open ear headphones should pair really well with this e-ink smartphone because e-ink is all about getting out there and enjoying reading and looking at screens in the bright daylight. It's one of the main benefits of it. And of course, open ear headphones are to allow you to enjoy being in your surroundings and being aware of them. So should give you a good experience in the great outdoors as well. They are very light. That's not 0.23 ounces. The next things I've got queued up in uh, Audible are all like, yeah, the Magic Mountain. The kind of classics that I like to read, 37 hours long, <laughs> 2666, uh, 39 hours long. So it's also nice to be able to get something out of a book in much less time. So short form is perfect for that, really. I don't see short form as a replacement for reading books or full audio books, but it really, a good way to try something out. So maybe you get recommended a book by somebody and you just want to put those things into practice straight away. You just need a sort of top level summary of the learnings from that book. Then that could be a good way to try those things, maybe some professional literature. Or perhaps this happens to me quite a lot. You remember something from a book like Atomic Habits, for instance, and you just want to remember exactly what that quote was or exactly what that example was so you can go back to it and put it into practice once again. And I I think short form is a good way to sort of remind yourself of some of the key things that were in that book. And what I found when I've been reading them is actually the books are a lot more in depth than it kind of sounds like they would be. You can have just a really short sort of one page summary, but also they do go through the structure of the book and take you through and give you clear examples from the book. And yeah, there's lots there. So you can read in 20 minutes or you can read in two hours if you like. And although this video is not sponsored by Shortform, there is an affiliate link in my description if you're interested in giving that a try, as I'm sure there will be for Light Me as well. There we go, so I think I've got them right. <laughs> I would go for Slave Productivity, but I've already read it and it was really good. So I am Malala, I've read. Alexander Hamilton, I've read. I'm partway through fast and slow. So now to get these Bluetooth headphones connected up. There it is. Certainly loud and clear. I don't know whether you guys can hear that. <laughs> so what have we got? It says we've got eight hours of playtime on a single charge, 30 hours with the charging case. And it's IPX5 dust and water resistance, so you should be okay with sweat and the outdoors as well. It does have noise reduction, although how it does that with open ear, I don't know. And of course you can answer calls and things by tapping them as you'd expect. Left is the volume down 
right is the volume up, and of course you can do that on the side here as well. Cool. So, I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> I think my open ear, open ear in my mind beats transparency mode. So it's really important if you're running or if you're cycling that you are aware of your surroundings. And also just for generally being more mindful, heading out of the house with an e-ink phone, fewer distractions there. And just generally being present in your environment is important. So open ear headphones are better for that. That is a really lightweight package and the things themselves are really light, so I'm sure they'll be comfortable as well. But I will use them a longer time than this and actually feed back to you on that. And I think open ear, I can really see that for audiobooks and podcasts, but not so much for music. I think you'll get better quality with proper in-ear headphones or over-the-ear headphones if you're a real audiophile. But it's all very mindful, isn't it? Heading out of the house with an e-ink smartphone and open ear headphones. I'm totally here for that using tech in a more humane way. Tech that you can use outdoors on glorious summer days or we're getting towards autumn now. Yeah, having an e-ink phone is just about enjoying spaces like this really, just enjoying the bright light and not having to think about those reflections on your screen. I mean, I've spent a lot of time over the week I've been using this, just sat right here, enjoying the sunny weather, Lots of nice air, just reading. And when you want to change to something audible, as long as these like me just pair every time straight out of the box, I can see these as working really well with that. You've got very lightweight open ear headphones. Yeah, connected straight away. I'll get used to putting them on with my long hair. <laughs> and you don't feel like you're not part of what's going on in your house or... <laughs> I was just about to film the next thing that I got filmed today and I actually forgot that I was wearing them. So I can vouch for them feeling very unobtrusive and uh, yeah, lightweight. So having shared these with, well, my father-in-law and he's certainly would call himself an audiophile, he was really impressed with these light me earphones. I've certainly just enjoyed listening to Diamond Dogs on them on the way up. And yeah, I let my wife test them and she was pleased with them too. I mean, she uses shocks for running and she said, well, okay, they were a little bit maybe big on her ears, but shocks are designed for running, and so perhaps if you've got ears on the smaller side, you might consider something like that, which is designed to be a secure fit for running. But what did really surprise me was that she actually said they were a fuller sound than the shocks. Now, the shocks are open-ear headphones as well, but they're actually bone conduction, so don't confuse these light to me's, which are open-ear headphones, have a little speaker near your ear hole, rather than actually going into the ear, don't confuse those with bone conduction, and bone conduction have a lot of other benefits. Let me know if you'd like a comparison between these and the shocks. But they certainly are incredibly comfortable. <laughs> I mean, I do just forget that I'm wearing them. And they're a real advantage just having open ear headphones, so you don't have to sort of pull them out to talk and interact with somebody. And providing they're not too loud, then the other person can't really hear them. This is Light Me's first product, and well, they're already gonna send me their kind of comfort noise-canceling sleep earphones, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them bringing out some kind of running specific headphones in the near future. And she said if they do do that, then she'd definitely go for a pair of these. So yeah, it's a glorious <laughs> September day out here, and I've just come to this beautiful place. It's called Leiden New Build, and I'm gonna sit, and I'm gonna listen to some music, and I'm gonna do a nice drawing on the Remarkable Paper Pro, so it should be a really nice time. Can you hear that now? <laughs> and of course, whenever you do need to interact with somebody, you can just give this side a few taps, it'll turn the volume down, and then this side a couple of taps to bring the volume back up again. It's Rebel Rebel. <laughs> yeah. 